Thanks for joining me on Life and Surround. In just a moment, I'm going to give a listen to the new 5.1 mix of Holidays in Eden by Marillion. It's a Stephen W. Taylor mix. I have heard it. I do like it. I want to give it one last critical listen before sharing some thoughts about it with you. And when I get back from listening, we'll also talk about the other contents of this deluxe book set by Marillion, Holidays in Eden. I'll be listening uh, from my OPPO BDP-103 through my Emotiva Pre-Pro to this tiny little six-channel amp, the Amp Master by Involve Audio. I've been enjoying it a lot, and it'll be powering my, my full range 5.1 system today. All right, so with all that said, let me get to listening. All right, so I just got done listening to the new 5.1 mix of Holidays in Eden by Marillion, the Stephen W. Taylor 5.1 mix of the original album. I'm going to give this mix a one-word review. Wow. It's incredible. Um, I have to say that... Mr. Taylor has finally, I think, either matched or bested the 5.1 mix that we got for Brave from Stephen Wilson. So Stephen Wilson, Stephen W. Taylor, man, there is a there is a, a new mixing engineer in my pantheon of favorites. This this mix is mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Uh, wow. 5.1 mix. Uh, I like how for most of the songs, it features the drums up front and then favors Mark Kelly in, in the surrounds. Um, there are passages where the drums and keyboards like play off of each other, like they're fuguing or they're both handling important parts of the rhythm and trading it off. And when you have that jumping back and forth uh, to your to your right and your left, man, uh, those are awesome, awesome parts of the album. I love the clarity that the drums are given. Uh, some amazing hi-hat and ride cymbal work on this album. And I swear you can hear every note and and plenty of harmonics like it's an, an extremely rich sound guitars can be up front can be um in the surrounds can move around a lot of times it feels like um solo moments um are brought to you know the front and center that makes sense i mean no hallucinogen needed this mix takes you on a trip. There are lots of standout moments. Lots of standout moments. Um, you know, I have heard some people complain that the mastering applied to this mix is um, a little bit dynamically compressed. And we can take a look at that here. I mean, yeah, it does seem like, you know, some compression has been applied. It really didn't get in the way of my listening experience. There are explosive moments during Splintering Heart, The Party, This Town, and A Hundred Nights, I think. There is a Mark Kelly organ solo in Holidays in Eden, the title track, and I never even knew that. And the way that it is um, situated, it nestles itself like right over your left shoulder and I just can't wait to hear that again. You know, 
I've never really taken to this album very much in, you know, stereo, you know, just on the the previous CD issues of this album. And in surround, man, I, I actually can't wait to go and, and sit and listen through it again. All right, other features of the set. The Blu-ray has a bunch of B-sides and bonus tracks. It has uh, an interview with the band, three promo videos, and it has a concert from German TV, and it is a very cool performance. The only surround content you're going to get on the Blu-ray is the actual 5.1 mix of the album. You get DTS HD Master, you get LPCM 5.1, and Stereo, both uh, 48 and 24. So in addition to that, uh, you get three CDs. You get the, the album remixed in Stereo on disc one and across the other two you get live uh, at the Hammersmith and it's a completely different show a fairly different set list so you really do need to watch the one and, and listen to the other um, I, I think they were really great inclusions and then as always with these book sets you get the uh, booklet portion you get band photos you get some history of the album and it's cool. It's it's kind of the standard fare. I don't love that they miscredit Stephen W. Taylor. Uh, I think they leave out the W on his name. Yeah. And then they only uh, mention the stereo remix. So he also did the 5.1 mix. And not really sure who did the mastering of this project. Maybe Michael Hunter. So anyway, um... This is a great, great set. I appreciate that Marillion is putting out affordable, lossless, physical copies of surround albums that fans want to own. And so we get this, this little book set. Um, I think I got it probably for around 30 bucks. It's got CDs for my car, which I appreciate. And um, it's got the Blu-ray for lossless, high-res, stereo, and surround, and some nice bonus features. They kind of were going for the uh, box set on a Blu-ray, and I think they nearly did it. Maybe if they had um, also provided the original mix of the album. But other than that, this is a very cool set. Highly recommended. Um, and then this almost completes the the current series of these these book sets so we'll see uh what marillion has in store for the near future and in the meantime if you love holidays in eden and want your mind expanded a bit try this 5.1 mix and um if you're not really sure about the album i think this mix is so good that it it could suck you in all right so thank you for watching uh thank you uh for liking, subscribing if you haven't already, leaving your comments below. Let us know what you think about Marillion, Holidays in Eden, these book sets, this 5.1 mix, or the other features of, of this set. Appreciate you watching, and until next time, live life and surround.